All right, here we go again. If you are new to the channel, three simple rules, no blah blah intro, no pausing, some yada yada at the end. And that's it. We shall continue with the Ricky Gervais show on Radio XFM, Series 2, Episode 35. Call your family and tell them it's a girl. I'm gonna go with Steve, said that one. I think. Lego. Bono, you should be a weatherman because once again you've predicted uh, wrongly. It's not, it's not a beautiful day at all, is it, Stephen? <laughs> oh, that was you two, XFM 104.9. Ricky Gervais, Steve Merchant, Claire Sturgis. Claire Sturgis in uh, for Carl Pilkington. Carl Pilkington right. is yeah. on holiday. Sunny as we speak. Where, where has he got? Mauritius, was it? Madeira. 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 I think Mauritius, with um, okay. uh, his girlfriend's parents. <laughs> oh. you, you remember last week he was. Uh, Worried they'd never been abroad, and uh, her dad was saying, "How was was way was way yeah, to uh, tea pack bags. tea bags?" Yeah, Carl's <laughs> going to get him over there. And he's going, we'll put him in a jar. He goes, put him in a jar. I phoned him up in the week uh, just before he went. I think Friday said, uh, "Have a nice time," and uh, out Sunday, and he said, uh, "Guess what he's doing now?" Like, <laughs> what he said, he's packing margarine. <laughs> oh, of course he is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh bless him. <laughs> My dad does that. My parents always take uh, tea bags wherever they're going. Really? You know, for fear of, of there being some kind of tea bag drought in France. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Is it, is it wrong? But I mean. I don't I, know. Is it because of maybe English breakfast tea you can't get over there? So but you can. You, you, can you though? I mean, you, you can. can get people yeah. you, you know, you tea can. Tea is take probably the single most popular drink in the world. I know, but what about the foreign, like the fancy foreign teas? Your Earl Grey's and the like. Well, I don't know. Because I want good English breakfast. Don't bother me with Earl Grey. I don't know what that cup of tea is. It's not tea to me. It's just, it's laughable. It's weak. It's pathetic. It's just, it's. Oh. Uh, do you know what? Earl Grey with a little bit of skimmed milk isn't so bad. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, <laughs> that was the fact. <laughs> We've started, eh? It's all off already, all right, it's all bad, 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 and we'll go at each other, that. sometimes <laughs> sort of pretending, you know. Sometimes pretending we're not close mates. You know, yeah, close, yeah, close and, friends, uh, you know, all that innuendo and that. Oh, yeah. smutty, smutty, <laughs> yeah. smutty. And, and, and I've got a freaky goggle like oh, thing. Oh, I go too far, <laughs> I sometimes <laughs> go too far. I do ruin it when I go t uh, too far, so let's be nice. Well, there's some of it a blur. Well, clever man. The fat man. We're not out of time. We've got a whole hour and fifty minutes to go on the Ricky Gervais Steve Merchant show. XFM I hope we have one of those after every record. I think I think if you were actually like a proper DJ, if you actually tried to do the Doctor Fox thing, I think you'd be quite good. Really? I but I, I, I think I could only survive doing that sort of um, post eleven p.m. Ooh, <laughs> quiet things down now. Yeah. Uh, I, I love all yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, late that sort of radio. That, yeah, 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 yeah. That do, that American jock type yeah, thing exactly. as well. Um, I listen to Star radio now sometimes. What? It's on digital. I think it's radio <laughs> for the over 50s. Yeah. And it plays, it was, it was playing Cliff Richards this morning. It played, um, Sammy Davis Jr. It played, um, The Beatles, Here Comes the Sun. And I was loving it. I was well, thinking, yeah. there's Well, it's aimed at your age group. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> and I've got a bad back. I've been complaining of a bad back all week. He's been ill. Uh, don't even start We haven't worked this week. He's been ill after well, the flu. Still not bad. I'll tell you this. I, 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 uh, Wednesday morning, I think it was, I woke up and I had the head, the sore throat, the aching body. And oh. I, do you know, I I immediately yeah. thought I've got the SARS virus. I really did. I genuinely, because I've always been a bit of a hypochondriac. I mean, Ricky pretends to be, but no, I genuinely no, it, was petrified. That doesn't make sense, mind. does it? How can you pretend to be a hypochondriac? No, I am a, I am a hypochondriac, and you are genuinely always ill. You're always okay. sort of, you've always got a bit of a so snuffle got, off. So I'm justified in thinking it might be the, the deadly You're a sickly virus. child. I don't exactly. know what's happened to you. Well, it's, I think it's, I will it's be... so much to do with West Country breeding, and you, you uh, haven't... I wish okay, no, yes, yes, not normal sort of... Barriers <laughs> to sort of flu so and cold. immune system yeah. is ill. So I am quite Claire, look at him. I'm quite a weak child. Yeah, I know. I'll <laughs> probably die in a garret having written some bloody brilliant poetry. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's consumption, yeah. 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 But anyway, so I went online to check out what exactly the symptoms of the SARS virus were. And, uh, seriously? Did seriously, I did. I was so panicked. Oh, so I went straight online and it, and it was exactly what I had. It said it well, was it is a strange exactly, 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 that was the thing, that's what I had. So I was thinking to myself, because it said the incubation period was between two and seven days, I thought, well, what, where have I been that I could maybe have got contact with people from? And then I thought, wait a minute, BAFTAs? I, I think I brushed against a couple of the guys from Banzai. 
I know. <laughs> I'm thinking, hang on. Yeah. Wait a minute, that makes sense. <laughs> yeah. And so I was suddenly getting a little bit eggy, because, I mean, there's a lot of, um, there was a lot of people, there's like 1,500 people at the BAFTAs, so, yeah. I mean, any one of them could be carrying it. Yeah. So I was really just panicked, but, you know, I didn't immediately rush to the doctors. No. Because you've got to wait for ages down there. Uh, Dr. Charles <laughs> brilliant, but you've got to queue up for ages, because it's down in, um, Swiss Cottage where I live, and I'll tell you, there's some dregs in there, in the waiting room. <laughs> oh, man alive. People who've just gone in there to read the magazines. And they uh, just sat there. It's all oh, there's some people who just waste the doctor's time. That's what annoys me. A lot of old people, a lot of saga listeners, who just waste people's time. I know. I, I went to uh, accident emergency once because I'd done my leg in, and I tell you, what, you look round, you think, oh, look at all these people. Yeah. Look at these. They should be. There's hardly of any of them weren't handcuffed to someone. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you know what I mean? You go to casualty on a Friday night, yeah. and it's like, oh, awful. Yeah. And there's uh, and so I mean, it was that thing. Well, I could either go to Doctor Shah, but that's NHS, or I could go to uh, one of the Medi centres. They charge money, Claire. Mm. And I mean, I know it's a killer disease, but you know, <laughs> I'm it? not making <laughs> cash. <laughs> you don't get. Because what if it isn't? That's money yeah. wasted. You don't get exactly. your money back, do I mean, you? I really need him to yeah. say, you've got the deadly SARS virus, for it to be worth the 80 quid. Exactly. You know? exactly. And as yeah. I suspected that, you know, it was 50-50, I decided not. I, so I decided to ride it out. Yeah. <laughs> and, um, <coughs> thankfully, so far, I've, uh, I've not you're died. You're looking alright. No, you're yeah. right. You're alright. Okay, so, um, You're alright, yeah. Yeah, well, that's, that's lucky. So, um, I know, so I phoned him up, I said, uh, I don't think I can work. And, I mean, uh, Ricky's a close friend of mine, I've known him for a time now, and I really consider him one of my best mates, but, I'll be honest with you, you didn't rush round with a bowl of soup. Did you? you I don't want to catch it. There's no point of both of us being ill. Well, this was the implication, because it wasn't that- it wasn't that you explicitly said, in this relationship, you're the one that's expendable. <laughs> <laughs> but that was the kind of- that was the sort of underlying <laughs> suggestion, I felt. No, I just thought- to be honest, I thought I could do with a day off as well. Yeah. You know what I mean? I thought, oh, 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 well, oh well, don't worry then, don't worry. <laughs> Tennis. Yeah. No, no, but, um, I had a, I, 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 I was, uh... What's wrong with your back then, really? I don't know, I think it's just age. I don't know, I, I don't get things seen to you, so it's just been hurts when I tie my shoelaces. That's why I've got, I'm wearing clogs. <laughs> <laughs> it's so much easier. What <laughs> drawstring trousers and clogs, you know. Um, You used to go to the doctor a lot more, though. You don't tend to do it now. Well, I'm not paranoid anymore. I, I, t I had two flashes of my, when my, my mum died of cancer, twice I think I said, oh, there's a lump. Uh, w uh, once well, I've we been to the doctors twice with him. Yeah. Have you? Seriously? I've seriously sat in a waiting room with him, twice. Well, I just, I just went, uh, uh, for, for the, you know, I thought, I thought, oh, oh God, I felt, felt them. I didn't need to do it then, did I? I, I and actually no. just touched my, but I, I, <laughs> I, should, I, should point out, I should point out that, um, Ricky's mother didn't die of testicular cancer. That, it just, no, 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 but I had so it sort hard. of, I thought, oh, God, well, I've got it now. And, um, I think <laughs> I went along once with testicular cancer, didn't I? Yeah, you had the testy problem once, I remember, because yeah. I remember sitting in the waiting room looking through uh, an old Argos catalogue with you for some reason. I think that was the only thing to do. Then read. I think I thought I had throat cancer, didn't I? Yeah, then, yeah, because yeah. I think you had a bit of a, <laughs> a, yeah, a, a sore yeah. throat, didn't you? But then I think, now I think, no, I think I got him over that. I was just like, yeah, sent me a bit. Hmm. So, uh, but, um, yeah, it's just a, it's just Why a bad Why were you fiddling back. around down below? Because, I mean, it wasn't like, <laughs> it wasn't like I called on you to do some work and you said, I've got to rush to doctors. I think it was like lunchtime. Yeah. So you'd obviously be meddling around down there. Well, I know, I, I tested a few Steve. times, but I'm never sure. What, well, during the day? Uh, well, I mean, can you do check. that when you first get, I mean, before you go to bed? But not in a restaurant when we're eating dinner. Certainly not spaghetti and kumquats. Exactly. <laughs> that could be. I don't know where the hands are. Right off my meatballs. <laughs> 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 oh dear. But Ricky, just to clear it, you are okay, aren't um, you? Yeah, of just course. A bad yeah. Back, yeah, yeah, just yeah. a bad back. Yeah, let's have a record, shall we? Bit I'd of Bruce Springsteen, we love it. Cheering breaks and pain killer <laughs> on XFM one hundred four point nine. Ricky Gervais, Steve Merchant, Claire Sturgis. Yeah, no, it's, it's uh, good to be here. I'm yeah. missing Carl. I'm missing hearing Carl actually. Doesn't Shouldn't it, mention him because people too. remember them. They go, oh yeah. I yeah. know. We're trying to pretend. How are you, that... Sturge, By the way, we've not really said hello to you. I'm, I'm very well, thank you. Okay? you yeah, yeah. Do you look forward to these occasions when you I get do. to stand in for Carl? I, I get a bit, little bit nervous. Is it intimidating? I it is. It no, be. it is a bit intimidating because he's because he's such a funny man. Mm. Um, but you know, once yeah, I'm here, I'm okay. He no, he is. It's not like he's doing it on purpose. It's, it's, <laughs> That's you know the what best I mean? part. So he's, he's just na he's a natural. <laughs> at least you know what you're saying. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, good point. Yeah, it's not good all point. it's not all downhill, is it? No, exactly. Yeah. I mean, no, you know, no, yeah. it, it, it'll be fine. It's only an hour and a half to go. We'll be okay. Can we talk about um? Can we talk about the baptism? I, no, I don't want oh, to yeah. go on about, you know, oh, well, with the, the awards oh, and everything. Oh, I don't like to talk <laughs> about it. I don't want to talk about it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Claire, I mean, uh, no, yeah. what, what do you want to know? What do you want to know? What do you want to know? How many no. you want? Or? <laughs> but of course we want. Well, I know how many yeah. you want. Yeah. Yeah. We're all uh, watching, not, obviously. Not, not everyone does, though, Claire. I mean, <laughs> how many did you win, Steve? You might want to remind me. What, in all or what? What are you talking about? Do you mean this year and last? It's two now. Two last year. Four in all. So it's four in all. Two of those are Ricky's
Darcy. Well, let, let, let me explain. I said, let, I said well, to well, him. Well, well, let, well, never mind all that. One, it's actually, I bought it for a photo shoot because I'm doing this thing. I've got, I've got a DVD coming out in October and I'm doing the, I'm doing a spoof of the front cover of Thriller. So I bought a white suit nice. and I've got it, right? And I thought, well, I might as well wear that then now and get it dry clean. I thought you blagged it. And you I this thought, one. I thought when I put it on, I thought I looked a bit like Sean Connery as James Bond. Apparently, I look like Tattoo from Fantasy Island. <laughs> 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 the little midget. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sure. Which is, uh, you know, I, I, I did watch it back, and uh, you know, there are some uh, resemblances. I, I sh See, at yeah, one I point, I did go to plan. Yeah. Which was, I don't know why. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I thought... Well, I, cause I, when he suggested he was gonna wear it, I said, that's crazy. I said, it's madness. Cause it just, I knew it would come back and haunt him. I just, it's just... I got away with it though. Well, did you? No. I mean, what was it? I said to you, we were talking about it and he said, Oh no, he said, I, I said, he said, what are you wearing it with a sort of white shirt and a white tie? I went, no, no. Um, I wear a, a black tie. I said, he said, right. He went, um, you should do it with a white shirt and the, the white tie. I said, he went, you know, do that whole Randall Hopkirk thing. And I went, well, that's what I'm worried about. He went, what, you're worried people to think you're a ghost. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, <laughs> pathetic. I, I just, I didn't think it was a good idea. I just love the way that if you're a celebrity, somehow you're allowed to wear, like, exactly. nonsense, outrageous yeah, 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 clothes yeah. because it's kind of expected of you because, you know, you're but it wasn't mental. Time. It wasn't like but Graham no, Norton but, going in curtains or Jonathan Ross dressing up as Lawrence Will and Bowen. It was just a white but suit, But it's just that it? thing of, it's just that thing of, you know I am. It's cheeky Ricky Gervais here. Look what I'm wearing. <laughs> I was worried there was gonna be chocolate mousse, though. Yeah. Or Johnny Vegas was gonna greet me and throw up immediately. Yeah. It was, like, I was, I had to keep away from people. And what you're sitting on. But I tell you what, I, I think it worked with Anne Robinson, didn't it? Do you she think she winked it, yeah. at you when you went, she liked that, you. She just can't stop that. No, she's no, made, there she's was made a it into a catchphrase, but. You <laughs> made yeah. her giggle like a little schoolgirl. I knew it was safe, though, to say that thing about her drinking, because I'd, I'd done a non broadcast pilot with her this year. Um, for a, a, a friend was uh, the producer, and it's a new show called, um, Look Who's Coming to Dinner. And the premise is I choose sort of right. six heroes that are alive, and so. I, I knew it was all right, so I didn't just go out there and start insulting this oh, that, poor that, middle-aged woman. That's I okay. sort of knew she could take a joke. She's all right. She's obviously, obviously, she's not really like that. So, yeah. No, but I loved the way she just giggled like a little girl. She. Was I think she was quite good, actually. I, I think it's better when I she's sort she's of ad-lib. I don't think she's as good when she's sort of got lines and she's hitting marks. She's quite good when she's sort of. Uh, like when Peter Kay came on, she went, "Have you dyed your hair?" Yeah. And he went, "Have I dyed my hair? What sort of talk is that?" <laughs> <laughs> Which I thought was quite yeah, nice. Your quote was good, though. What, and he went, but peace, yeah, or war. I, I, just, <laughs> I, I just hate it when, um, oh god, celebrities t get their political, their, I've got to say something political because no, there's all, all that stuff in the world. Still, and I don't know, do, it's like those things <laughs> you see in the, the, the mm. papers where it's, it's got, um, uh, a general elections or a war, and it's got a picture of Billy Piper, just a picture, and she go, it goes, Labour. Or, yeah. it's got, you know, Ross Kemp. No to war. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. What, when would that when would that be influential? No idea. It, it it's sort of like you go someone goes to you do, 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 what do you think of war? I go war. I don't know. I made your mind up. <laughs> well, no, it's difficult, isn't it? Is it? Is it? Well, yeah. You know, because on the one I hand, I don't know where I you, stand. Well, exactly. On the one hand, you could say that you know war is wrong because it caused suffering. But on the other hand, you know, it's, it, that's a knee jerk reaction. And some wars are justified. You know, like stopping you know fascism or or whatever. And you know, like pacifism, sometimes you have to uh, tough defence. So it's not clear. And I go okay. Let's make it easier for you. What do you think of the little black one in Sugar Babes? <laughs> I think she's brilliant. She hates war. <laughs> <laughs> That's me. That's me done there. Exactly. Does that help sway your Yeah, <laughs> yeah well, I don't know when it is influential. Do you remember when, um, <laughs> when the, uh, that young au pair was over in, um, in America and she got, she got in, uh, arrested for the, the, the murder or the death, rather, of that, of that young child? I forget her name. Do you remember that oh, story? Louise Woodward. Well, do you remember there was a whole section in the paper there where there was, um, I think it was members of Coronation Street. Saying, release her, please release her. I remember you Just said you fancied her. <laughs> Who's that? <laughs> you said you fancied her when it was all, all happening. Well, I, I he, he, he said, he said, I think he was the danger. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> there was an element of that. I, I, do you know what I thought it was? I, I would love, I would love you to go out with Louise Woodward. The thing about Woodward. Would... I, what's she doing now? The thing about Wooders is that she, um, <laughs> <laughs> my suspicion was, my suspicion was that when she came back and she'd been cleared of it, that she had been cleared be of it. Yes, she was. No, she yeah. wasn't. Wasn't she? No. I don't think she. I think no. Just it was she did her know, time, and it was it was. Time, I think it was yeah. manslaughter. I think. Uh, oh, really? I, I'm not we sure about this. Teetering on the edge of getting. Well, no, no. If someone knows, <laughs> call up. Off, you know, if, oh, we don't know this, so don't. Yeah, don't but I think don't, you're right. Well, I either think way, right. either yeah. way, it was a tragic, tragic accident, and uh, she wasn't a murderess. That was the clear point, and, and it just struck me that. Um, 
th uh, nevertheless, there would probably be a certain stigma. You know, so she was down, you know, kind of Monroe's on a Wednesday night, you know, looking for a dance. Probably there weren't gonna be a lot of guys queuing up for her because they were conscious that, you know, she had this certain reputation. Whereas Ding Dong, Gentleman Steve, yeah. I'm happy to step in. Do you know, know what? I'd let her babysit because she'd never, she'd be so careful, wouldn't mm. she? You know what I mean? She'd be on real best behaviour. Yeah. So, uh, maybe we shouldn't be talking about I wonder it. What, <laughs> but I do wonder what she's up to now. <laughs> well, if you, if you know. <laughs> 0, 8, 7, 100, 800, 1, 2, 3, <laughs> If you're a lawyer and we've said something wrong, let us know now and we'll apologise yeah. quickly. Yeah. Uh, yeah. you know. I'll but no, you what, anyway, good luck music. to you. Louise, if you're out there listening, you if know, you, good luck and, um, you know, ricky.gervais xfm.co.uk, that's the I don't want my name, I don't want my name attached in case. Get in, get in touch. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you're free tonight, aren't you? Yeah, I'm free. I'm free, um, for the next eight years, I think. Very <laughs> 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 Sure, sure, sure. Yeah. Yeah. Sweet, 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 sweet. Yeah. Ten-story love stong. Uh, love stong? Yeah, ten-story love stong from, love stong. uh, the Stone Dozies. Yeah, see, it's not as easy as it looks, it's is not, it? It's not, it's not. And I'll tell you, it also because I'm a little under the weather still. Yeah. So, <laughs> that's my, uh, that's my excuse. You've had a week off. I'll tell Concentrate. you. Concentrate. I mean, I've got cable TV, but there is nothing on, is there, in the in the daytime? It is just. I mean, I loved today with Des and Mel. That's good. Right, that. I with Joe Pasquale on again. I had, I, he I always pops up. I love it when he pops Joe up. Joe Pasquale is an absolute. I love Joe. Uh, genuinely, uh, without Joe. irony, yeah. I really like Joe Pasquale. Do you know him? Have you met uh, him? No, I haven't. No, but I really, really like him. I think he's yeah, really funny. He's really good. Yeah. Uh, one of his favourite, one of his jokes that I've always enjoyed is, um, why is there a uh, lock on the door of the twenty four seven shop? It's good. He's a thoughtful man. It's good. You know, it's open all the time, Claire. No, I just like his squeaky voice. Yeah, oh, that's fine. I don't like jokes. But uh, no, I, I only caught the end uh, the other day. But um, it was brilliant. Des was singing, singing a medley of Buddy Holly songs. He doesn't quite sing, does he? It's he's sort like, of it's talking. It's, right? like, it's like pulling your punch. Oh, most oh, he's from the thing. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? It, 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 he can't. He can't actually. He's not actually singing. It's no. talking. It's kind of talking the words. Yeah. But he he knew Buddy apparently, and he toured with him. So I he's... am an antichrist. <laughs> um, and <I'm Kai. laughs> It never quite finished. It's lovely. No, he's great. He's got no, like, he's got no breath. But, it uh, but it's the adverts in between. He is 73, things. though. He's amazing for he's it. doing well, isn't he? Yeah. No, yeah. I mean, I, you know, he's a good Sorry, he's 73. Des O'Connor. <laughs> is he seriously? Yeah. I think so. Amazing. Yeah, he's amazing. doing well. Yeah, good luck to him. <laughs> um, Sorry, a toast to Des O'Connor. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Raise your glasses and all you listening at home. <laughs> so I'd, love, I'd love to see him interview Louise Woodward. Yeah, indeed. <laughs> that, do you want to hear some Louise Woodward? I have had some calls. But I don't know if they're true or not, though, do you? What, no, what did you true. hear? Well, uh, I think one of the. Oh, we, the no, we must. No, we mustn't say that shop that she works no, in. No, 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 wouldn't okay, say that. But in case it's I'm sure I read the same, th same thing, Steve. Someone said uh, they read that she was studying law, and I think I read that because she knows so much about it. Yeah. yeah. Uh, now she decided. She's never to through go the system, yeah. You never know when it's coming useful. But she has been spotted in various parts of the country right. selling all manner of things. Uh, okay, and, brilliant. Uh, so I'm on door to door. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, no, from Mother Care. We've got to stop this now. <laughs> <laughs> we've got to stop this now. It's not okay, fair. That's, that's <laughs> it's, uh, it's all water under the bridge. Um. Anyway, uh, <laughs> um, let's play a record. <laughs> let's play a record. Back. No, I'll talk about it later. We're I, scared I, I think, now. Yeah, we've just got ourselves in uh, trouble. I think we just need to go and consult our lawyers. <laughs> 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 Peter Gabriel. Oh, this is a beautiful track, um, and it was actually in uh, uh, Vanilla Sky, so a bit of resurgence. This is um, Salisbury Hill. Peter Gabriel, what a lovely track that is. Salisbury Hill on XFM, 104.9. Ricky Gervais, Steve Merchant, Claire Sturgis. You know, if Carl was here, yeah. do you know what he'd want now? Probably ads, no. Some adverts. Yeah. Do you want some now? Oh, it's, it's <laughs> what Carl would have wanted. Okay. For <laughs> Carl, then, some ads. Excellent. Hey. Placebo and Bitter End. XFM 104.9, Ricky Gervais, Steve Merchant. Claire Sturgis in for Carl Pilkington. Do we have a good job? Who's in Madeira. Yeah. Indeed. Is that where the cake's from? Yep. Yeah. It's his name after, I think, yeah. Excellent. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. It's nice, nice, lovely. It's sort of, uh... I don't know where Madeira is. It's okay. sort of off Africa. Okay. Um, but it's, uh, I think Don't a lot of Portuguese. old people go there, There are a lot of old people yeah. there. There yeah. are a lot of well, old people Carl there. Well, Carl is essentially, uh, a 50-year-old, a 50-year-old yeah. man yeah. in the body yeah. of a 30-year-old. Yeah. I know, yeah. I think it is. Where is Ricky Gervais? <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> party, like... by, party by the pool, it was. It was actually really good. I, I actually, I'd much prefer that than, um, uh, we went to, uh, Greece once, and we were wandering this place by mistake, going through this, 
and it was just full of people in Everton shirts and Liverpool shirts mm. and just drinking lager. Oh, where's the fun in that? And just, I, I can't, the, the idea of Butlin's millions, just millions of families screaming around would drive me Butlin's mental. Butlin's is the most extraordinary yeah. place I've ever been to. I went there with a bunch of friends. We can't slag it off, but I mean, <laughs> not Butlin's specifically, just any, anything. No, I'm not slagging Butlin's off. No. It's just, but it, it was just, I've never been to Butlin's. It's an extraordinary yeah. place. No. The bar is themed. One bar themed in the Wild West style, Brilliant. but a, band, a tribute band to Status Quo playing. <laughs> really? <laughs> it was extraordinary. So you walk in the swing doors, <laughs> and there's Status Quo playing, and everyone else is all the staff dressed in cowboy outfits uh, and cowgirl outfits, uh, serving drinks. I've told you this before, but I sneaked into Butlins. We, we sneaked in one night, and we didn't know what was on. And they were serving lager and chips, and there's just <laughs> loads of families and and uh, lots of northern men in uh, short sleeve shirts and kids running around and stuff. And uh, so they just arranged the chairs in this sort of dance hall, and they went. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the entertainment for this evening is David Copperfield, not the magician. <laughs> 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 and it was the bloke from uh, Three of a Kind. Of course, but he came out. He did it all. He did all the jokes. He did all the, mm. hello, are you? Oh, you're nice. You know, to people in the audience. <laughs> and then his finale was he stood on a chair because there wasn't a stage and he did classical gas, seriously, on guitar. <laughs> and then they clapped and went out right and he went, thanks for it. He went off and I stopped clapping and he came back on to get his jacket. Oh, dear. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> yeah. It was it's great. Weird, there, there was also a girl boy duo in, in, uh, blue satin called Joint Effort, <laughs> which I was loving. <laughs> and at the end, right, it was on, I think it was on a Saturday night, so, uh, people were leaving, sort of, uh, the next day, or the Friday night, they are leaving the next day, and, uh, the kids and that were sort of like going to Redcoats and they were crying, right? And all the Redcoats and Joint Effort <laughs> and, uh, they did We Are The World. <laughs> oh, wow. Amazing. <laughs> what an amazing night that was. Extraordinary. Yeah. They yeah. are incredible places. Yeah. <laughs> joint effort. I don't think- I saw a documentary, I'm sure I saw a documentary, which is finding out what, uh, the likes of David Copperfield are up to now. Is it- yeah. <laughs> and he was a Thatcher, wasn't he? Wasn't he mending roofs? I think so, yeah. I and think I'm you're sure right, I saw yeah. him saying, they said, uh, would you not, you know, would you not want to be back on primetime TV? And he said, do you know, I, I, I think I prefer mending roofs. Well, I, well, I'm not sure. Well, he's probably true. no. He's probably the same as uh, David Van Day with that advert um, when he said uh, he got to the point where I prefer to sell burgers than records. <laughs> <laughs> no, you didn't. <laughs> <laughs> you never preferred selling burgers, David. Have you watched any of the reborn in the old I love it. You see, I absolutely I, I love it. Missed it, and I'm I gutted. It's Hadley or Cox. I'm it's Hadley or Cox gutted. all the way. I reckon. Who's Cox? Um, uh, we oh. close our eyes, we never do him. What band is that? What band is that? Go West. Go West. Oh, right. Yeah, he's, yeah. he's probably the best singer in a sort of stand-up cabaret And, and how does it work? Do they get voted out as they go around? Yeah, So yeah. it's Sonia's gone, isn't it? No, there's two, two, uh, from, um, the studio audience, two are nominated, the lo lowest, I think the lowest people, and then, then, uh, Britain, people in Britain vote one. Uh, back I on the bus. Can I just why they're doing it in the States? Why didn't they just do it in this country? Well, because it was meant to be relaunch their career without prejudice, oh, I assume. Okay. Mm. And also as an excuse to go to America, I suppose, and people not know him. Although fame is creeping in. I think a lot of people recognise Tony Hadley. Yeah. Particularly when he sang True at karaoke. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. Um, so, uh, no, but, uh, um, Is he yeah. as good as ever? He's fine. He's a bit dramatic, but it's all right. He's, now, from your sort of, uh, your, your brief pop phase, yeah. are any of these faces familiar to you? Did you ever bump into them? Oh, no, but no, you know, no. You never, you never hung out with Hadley or...? No, no, <laughs> we all lived in the same house. Yeah, you did have, no. didn't you have a running with Bucks Fizz? Oh, yes, he did. Uh, yeah. No, once, did well, once when we, uh, when we were going <laughs> up to do, we were going up to do, um, uh, um, a TV show, um, and our a and our man had just forgotten about us and we were there, we were at the, we were at the airport, yes. we didn't have the tickets. And so Bucks Fizz were doing the same show and they, I remember they tried to smuggle us through. They had sort of like them and their crew and they just like showed us the tickets and went through and they went, well, like, like that would work. And they went, <laughs> I went, oh, okay, but sorry. Did the two girls stand in the lobby and whip off their skirts, <laughs> everyone was sidetracked while you legged well, it through. Well, like, I was on the shoulders of, uh, <laughs> yeah. Bobby G and wearing a really long coat. <laughs> yeah. And they went, Bobby, what well, <laughs> he went, yes, I am taller yeah, now. You're not taller uh, in yeah. the flesh and you are on top of the pops. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And fatter. <laughs> 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 I wasn't fat You then. weren't fat then, no, you um, weren't. Yeah, no, but I love it. And the other thing I've been watching is American Pop Idol. Right, that was last anything. night. It's great, really good. Yeah, yeah is uh, it, this is Simon Cowell. Ruben's going to win. <laughs> huh? Is that is that the one that Jerry Halliwell is part of? No, no. This is um, uh, oh, Randy Jackson. Really? What's up, dog? 
um, Paula Abdul and Ooh, Simon Cowell. But Simon Cowell makes so much more sense in that context. Yeah. Because they're all, you you know, you're great. And they do people, they yeah. stand up and they clap. And he goes, oh, sit down, it was all right. And it yeah, makes yeah, so yeah. much <laughs> more sense, you know what I mean? Over here it's, it's a bit of a pantomime sort of drama queen. But over there, he's suddenly- He's the sort of the voice, voice of, of reason. Sanity. Exactly, yeah. yeah. Yeah, but um, that's uh, that's the trash TV that uh, I, I watch. That you've watched. Yeah. But no, Reborn's funny. But again, once again, st public are stupid. They voted out um, Dollar that was driving everyone mad, and there was fights. They why? Well, they did they... Really? Because they really would. Well, yeah, to because Sonia. you know. Oh yeah, they oh, really yeah. went for it. They voted out Chris Eubank. Yeah, and Celebrity Big Brother. Brother is... Keep them in. I don't think the public should be allowed to vote on TV shows. I don't think they know what's best for them. It does strike <laughs> me that, like, in the golden age of EastEnders, if people had said, do you want to vote out, uh, Dirty Dan, they'd have gone, yeah, he's nasty. I know, yeah, that's that confusion, either with, with entertainment and punishing yeah. people, yeah. They should keep them in and then make them lose. Yeah. Yeah, so you've had all the, the best of both worlds. What about yeah. the new celebrity, uh, I'm a celebrity, get me out now of here. Now, who's in that? The one- Daniela Westbrook. Yeah. Um, Catalina, that model. Yeah. Don't know her. Yeah, exactly. Uh, the one Anthony from Anthony Worrell Thompson. Why? Why does he want? You've got to someone, someone to cook, haven't you? Yeah. Um, well, that's that one what from Changing. Yeah, the girl from Changing Rooms. Yeah, Linda Barker. Yeah. Oh, um, Phil Tufnell. Who? Phil Tufnell, cricketer. Mm. I'm gonna put some money on him to win. I yeah. reckon he's gonna win because apparently he's sort of funny and and nice and everything. And uh, yeah. Would you ever? Would you ever do any of those? Absolutely things? not. No. I do think, I genuinely think if you were in the Celebrity Big Brother I'd, Immediately. You would be voted out. out. They, yeah. it literally, it would be, it would be before, you it would be before the it. public get a chance to vote. Yeah. The housemates would have got you out somehow. Yeah. They'd have or they'd have left. <laughs> or they'd have I, left. Yeah, they'd I, have I might win. Have left. I might win by default. <laughs> they'd have all climbed over the roof like that yeah. guy Sandy. Yeah. <laughs> they'd have all yeah. climbed out, like within the first ten minutes. I uh, saw Sandy the other day, actually. Doing still, on, still on the run, is it? Just climbing over. It's over, Sandy. Get off my roof. I'm really running. excited. In really? Selfridges. Does he look like a wombat up close? No, he looks, he's really good looking. I, Shut up. No, seriously. I saw him in the hat section at Sel Selfridges because he's a personal shopper telling yeah, him they well, look Jane, gorgeous. Yeah, well Jane went there to meet Sandy. No, just for like, Yeah, to, to, yeah. I got really what, excited. What, is he working there? Yeah, yeah he's a personal he always was. shopper. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Does he sign autographs and stuff? I'm sure No, he does. he calls himself Alex now. What? Eh? Yeah, he's not allowed to call him Sam Sandy at Selfridges, wouldn't. What should we say and get him sacked? <laughs> get him <laughs> voted out of <laughs> Selfridges <laughs> household. Oh, Why is he a personal shopper? Yeah. That's the yacht. That's just to me the the, the the epitome of indulgence. If you've got money to spend I on a personal shopper, that. oh, I'd love to do man that. Man alive, no, is that someone who pushes your trolley? No, is that how you works? just say. Can you, I get one of those in Wakefield? No, you, no, you, no. It's just it's like asking an assistant. You go, uh, I need um, uh, some black trousers and some brown shoes and this range. And they go, okay, and they go and get your range. So you don't have to go. It's not. It's not like. Yeah, but I still Someone, love it. Oh. Uh, yeah. But do you have to pay for it? It's not, it's not. No, no, it's, no, you don't pay for the service. You pay for the t sh clothes if you buy them. It's really? not, yeah, it's not like well, uh, the Steve, Lady Di having me. Harrods opened for her. So it's I could walk in there and get Sandy of course from you Big could. to just Steve, do some shopping for In fact, I'd love you to. But could I get him, like, once he's finished in Selfridges, could he pop to the co-op for me? <laughs> no, <laughs> he can't do that. No, he can't do that. What, no. seriously? So there'd be people queuing up, wouldn't there? Well, why? <laughs> so, you can't, people don't go and shop in Selfridges for the sake of it to meet Sandy, do they? No, but to get a personal mm. shopper, why wasn't? Why wouldn't everyone have? One? I don't understand why everyone wouldn't. Well, do they it can't charge you for it. They get paid. Oh, Steve, you and me, later. I'll tell you this: I don't think people realise that, Rick. He's going to be inundated. No. You know, you know, when you go to Selfridges, you will not be able to buy that suit you got for ninety-seven pounds. It's a lot more expensive than that. What? You can't five? You, yeah, you can't. You can't get shoes for twenty-nine pounds in there. Uh, I'm not bothering. No, exactly. You not see, that's, that's where you're going to come unstuck. It's not worried. I'd love a great record now, Claire. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm going back to Bristol this weekend. Oh, yeah? I am going to be. I, I've got a hundred pounds to spend, so I'm looking to get a three-piece suite. Yeah. Uh, dinner suit. Yeah. Um, you know, and, you know, who knows? A who wife. Knows well? Possibly. You know, I think my sister's back. <laughs> <laughs> the new single from Radiohead. <laughs> what do you make of it? I love Radiohead, yeah. so I'm prejudiced, um, and I like to write everything they do. You know, I, st I still play the Benz regularly. I had to replace it on CD, because I wore it out. Really? I just think it's amazing. I think they're great. They're coming in, aren't they? Yeah, well, they're coming in a couple of times. I think Phil and, um, Ed, who are my favourites, are doing Zoe in All a right. few weeks. And I think, uh, Tom York is gonna be doing John Kennedy on Exposure, doing one of those album playbacks where he comes and I talks think about he's, each uh, he's so shy as well. Yeah. He came into Uda once, and he was just so shy. He hated it all, because people were looking at him. And, uh, yeah. um, uh, oh. 
He's great. He's brilliant. <laughs> a toast. A funny little fella. Your head. <laughs> <laughs> Happy yeah. Easter, Tom. Happy Easter. Easter. Don't eat too many eggs, <laughs> boys. Oh, calm down, you crazy guys. <laughs> no, I was, we were talking earlier about the fact because oh, I've been ill this week, and so um, I've just been lying on the sofa, you know, dosed up. I was a bit feverish as well in the week, and I um, at one point I, I, I had a real kind of movie. I, if I'm ill, I like to be like you're ill in the movies. And I was tossing and turning in bed. I had the fever. I was waking up. I was sweating, all sorts. And I and I keep waking up really early, and I'm sort of watching daytime TV for hours. And um, the adverts that you see in the daytime. I mean, we because we do actually work. A lot of people think we just doss around all day, but we do actually work. And so I don't get to see TV in the day much. And the adverts, it's not adverts you see at night I in during. It's, I know. They're incredible, and it's like. Was it for surgical stockings? Well, there's, there's a lot of them are <laughs> either aimed at. They're either aimed at people who who <laughs> basically are, are waiting to die. Right. It would seem. Or that I love that advert. Waiting to die. <laughs> <laughs> well, they are a bit like that. I mean, there's a couple. There's one with, uh, Christopher Timothy. He sat in a pub on his own, just having a pint in the afternoon. I think this was before he, um, I think this was before he, uh, became a doctor. He, um, <laughs> he's having a pint on his own, <laughs> looking through the, the, you know, the, the job he's ads. He's a good career, vet, doctor. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I think Clever he's always man. wanted to play a lawyer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and he, and he basically says, in so many words, I can't, I can't remember it verbatim, but he basically says, you know, um, you're, you're probably getting on a bit. <laughs> Um, you are, you're not gonna be around forever. You could drop dead tomorrow. Have you, yeah. have you made provisions for your children and your family and your wife? And, yeah. and you, I think you at home were supposed to go, oh Christ, I haven't. Oh. And, and like, I was feeding my testicles earlier, they are a bit lumpy. Yeah. Oh no. <laughs> you know, or- And, not, I, got and I, I had to bend down quite low to feel them. <laughs> exactly. So, uh, you know, I am getting on a bit. Exactly. In fact, oh, what no. I do now is pull them towards me and kick them up like Beckham yeah. with a ball. Yeah. And on the way back down, I have a quick feel. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, oh, <laughs> yeah, or when the kids come to visit. <laughs> yeah. And, um... Stop playing with Grandad's <laughs> testicles. <laughs> Where have you put them? Where have you put them? We put them on the map so, oh, you <laughs> little devils, go on with you. Do you want a Werther's original? <laughs> And, uh, that's another advert you see constantly, Werther's Originals. Um, but, um, so they've got those, and then they've got the adverts which I always love, which are, are adverts for, um, any kind of, you know, Claims Direct or any of those things. It's just, oh, yeah. it, invariably there's a reconstruction of, of an accident that might have happened. Someone tripping over a paving slab. There's one which is particularly chilling, of a guy who, um, I think he, he, he's with his kid watching football. And he's thinking to himself, you know, oh, I bet he, he's looking, he's thinking, I wish I could join in. And it flashes back, and there he is up a ladder, uh, on a very shiny surface with no one supporting it, frankly. Oh, which is, which he's is, asking for trouble. Yeah. Frankly, I, I, I blame him. Yeah. And then it, it, it topples for no reason. I don't know why it topples. Right. Wind, let's say. Yeah. I, whenever I see it, I always think. Yeah, I hope he never walks again. <laughs> well, <laughs> he falls off it. Um, <laughs> Did he smash his face in? <laughs> Did he fall on a spike? Because if he's going to go up that ladder on a shiny surface <laughs> with no one holding it, right? Did he fall? Did he crack? Did he fall backwards on his head? The little f <laughs> worse still. <laughs> but did he, did he do the splits and crush his nuts? The f worse what? than that. One. He made a considerable lump sum of cash thanks to the efforts oh, of one of those claims parties. <laughs> eh? Oh no! <laughs> All right. His negligence has right, seen him three there, grand richer. Right, was Steve, was there a yokel with a pitchfork looking up as he <laughs> fell on it? Nothing. <laughs> oh, he fell off. I think he must have bruised his ankle or strained oh, a ligament. that's not enough. That hasn't taught him anything. Well, it's not taught him a lesson. In fact, if anything, it is encouraging him to just to be more foolhardy in the future. Oh, Because if you're gonna Christ. dish out five, three, five grand willy-nilly to these, these people. Yeah. These l lunatics, these oafs. <laughs> <laughs> These simpletons. Do you know my, my one of my favourite adverts was the one in um sort of the back of the those uh, glossy magazines you get given away, and there was always an old woman, and she'd fallen, <laughs> right, in her in her front uh, uh, porch or whatever, and uh, she was just reaching out, but she was too weak to reach the phone. So it was sort of like you uh, carry a little button around with you that yes, you press. Yeah. I love the idea yeah. of that. She looked so vulnerable. <laughs> Oh, that was my, but uh, it's I always feel with those kind of, um, those claims adverts, that it's almost like saying, I'm not gonna say it explicitly. Yeah. <laughs> Here are some ideas for you. Yeah. <laughs> you know, paving slabs. Yeah. Is there one near you? Yeah. Could you have a little trip? <laughs> exactly, yeah. If you've got a stepladder. Yeah. I'm well, not saying anything, but, but maybe, you know, Read between <laughs> the lines. The shiny floor. There is money to be made. It, uh, do, does, um, uh, adverts in the back of those. Do you remember Innovations catalogue? Well, I just read this week, Innovations yeah. catalogue is being, it's being closed down. Gutted. Yeah. 
The Irish really? catalogue, which is, it used to go to something like, uh, something like I tell you 50 what, million homes or something. I love the Innovations catalogue. I, you do think, you think well, I could do with that. Cause I want- well, I have never I, thought that. No, I do. I wanna <laughs> spend money on an advantage in life. Like, you know, I want the power packs and hoverboards and things that are, like to see through walls. <laughs> just thick. <laughs> for 1990, yeah, they don't work, do they? I bought oxygen. I bought- yeah, Did you really? Oh, I bought you. oxygen. What do you mean you bought oxygen? Well, me and my mate were sort of like- uh, when it, it was about like, I don't know, 1987, and me and my mate, uh, Wally, um, we were doing distant, long distance running together, we were trying to get good, uh, and I thought I'd just have some oxygen before the race. <laughs> what do you mean some oxygen? It's there, free in the air, <laughs> no, what's wrong with it? No, it's been canisters. <laughs> a canister <laughs> of oxygen? <laughs> yeah, it's so It didn't work, it just smelled really. like you were sniffing mints. I didn't- I couldn't get any in. I- I- I, I well, just- But well, what was it supposed to do? <laughs> Well, it, you know, oxygenate the blood so you can. Right. But yeah, I don't know why. How much was it? I don't know. I can't remember. But Mine was 1999. <laughs> it, it was a bit it, canister. It was rubbish. So <laughs> why did you buy it? <laughs> I mean, he was at least doing a job. <laughs> doing reason. a job. I was, yeah, uh, I was, but I was it does training. seem to me that because the, the problem with the innovations catalogue is that for the the few idiots that buy stuff like you, yeah. there are hundreds, <laughs> thousands who just look through it and laughed at the absurdity of you know a motorised tie rack. I bought the I know, Abs yeah. Master. Who is so the lazy that they need that? Yeah, yeah. yeah. The Abs Master. Oh. I worked uh, for a while. I'm um, uh, answering the. Um, the, the mail, the opening the mail for a return. So it wasn't the innovations people, but it was a mu- it was, if that's the kind of middle class version, this was a very much more working class, um, thing. It was, you know, how to, you know, how to get hot dogs out of, of a tin and all the rest of it. <laughs> and there was stuff in there, it was incredible. There was one item that was in the catalogue and it was, uh, yeah, I know, like like me, you've probably thought to yourself, I just haven't got time to boil the kettle <laughs> and fill up my hot water bottle. Oh, you thought that takes upwards of a minute and a half to do. What, what I need <laughs> is some kind of state of the art <laughs> kind of plastic container with some kind of blue gel inside, which I put in the microwave and that really? heats up, right? So that was what this device was. You put it in the microwave, you buzz it in there for like 30 seconds, saving yourself, you know, a minute. Of, oh, of preparation yeah, yeah. time. And we used to get them sent back. I swear to God, they would send that. They'd be split. Yeah, they Old exploded. women yeah. saying, uh, I heated something in the microwave. I went to sleep. It split asunder. And the blue gel scorched my legs. I've got third degree oh, burns. No. And do you Old know woman it, with a scolding. <laughs> call claims direct. <laughs> but do you know what we used to do? I used what? to say, Do they not sue over this stuff? And they and they told me, they said, They never sue. They're not, you know, they're old ladies. They don't realise they can sue. What we normally do is send them a replacement. <gasps> So I'd yeah. have to send replacements back to these old women who had scolded their legs. God. We didn't even send them the money back, we just sent them a replacement. I mean, unbelievable. Unbelievable. Sometimes I always find- And a new pair of tights, at least. <laughs> at least. <laughs> and sheets, bed yeah. sheets, yeah. Oh dear. Imagine well, that though. I did have an abs mask, one of those things that, you know, you try it on. Uh, um, uh, Jane bought it for me for a birthday once. And the uh, electronic The electronic it, thing, oh, you put it on, right? Hurts, yeah, well, I, I turned it full up, right? And at one point- now, what's this? Sorry, I don't understand what this you is. You try it- put it round you, it sticks to your body and it's an electrical charge and it- and it's like doing sit-ups. Every time it does it, it's like you're doing a sit-up but without you sitting up, right? Right. And at one point I had it on- I'd done it for a few weeks and at one point I was laying on the couch in my pants with this on watching telly, drinking a bottle of wine and eating cheese. <laughs> <laughs> she said, I don't think it works like that. <laughs> <laughs> if this works, it's the greatest invention of all time. <laughs> so it's like you can eat and it's wearing- it's kind of working it off for you as you're eating. I know, yeah. Oh dear. Oh, my phone. That'd be great. I, I did see one thing in one of those little magazines once, and this is hilarious, <laughs> right? What it was, it's a bloke, it's a bloke in a wheelchair, right? <laughs> and then there's another one of him, and it's raining, so he's got a cagoule on that covers him and his wheelchair. Oh, no. And no. just his little face. <laughs> So it looks like somebody you've covered a motorbike in, <laughs> and it's just his little face. I thought that was great. Oh dear. Oh. oh the innovations is finished. Like, it's, it's over. Great. It's all over. Should we have a it's record? It'll be lovely. A it? toast to the innovations. <laughs> to the, a toast to the innovations. <laughs> you provided nothing of much use for oh, 15 years. Happy oh. Easter. Happy Easter. Easter. <laughs> well, I mean, are you sure that's not part of the song? Because, you know, Pink Floyd, you know what they're like? These they're new fangled tricks. All the, yeah, new fangled sort of trickery and that weirdness. I mean, like. Well, it's I, a shame. It is a shame. It is a great song. Um, yeah, but it, oh, it's. I don't know what to do with it. It's, it's too serious. annoying. We've yeah. got to stop it. Yeah. Are we putting a pay to it? Oh. It's gone. Yeah. Oh, I'll switch it off, Claire. Yeah.
I don't know, because that always plays fine on my home system, so I don't know if it's something that Sergius has done. You haven't got your big greasy thumbprints over it, have you? Because <laughs> <laughs> <What's laughs> <laughs> <you'd laughs> I saw you eating a, a huge hog roast as I, <laughs> as I came in. And throwing the bones behind yeah, exactly, that. like Henry yeah, yeah, VIII. <laughs> okay. Nothing changes, Ricky. Oh no. dear, never mind. Well, that's, well, that's, a, that's, see, the problem that's is, ruined the whole show for what, me, it was going so well. What worries me, Rick, is because this show is so carefully planned, yeah, that's, that's left <laughs> a minute and a half gap. That can throw us all out. Um, <laughs> timings, timings. Adverts. Do you think oh, that'll be yes. yes. People yes. love them. Great. Excellent. We'll go back tomorrow. Wise words unless you're talking about pension plans. That's Feeder on <laughs> XFM 104.9. <laughs> Wise words. Uh, Steve Merchant, Claire Sturgis. Competition time. We got, I haven't got the usual, uh, competitions of, um, uh, songs of phrase and monkey Aww, news and the other, him, the him. other Carl nonsense. You know, you know, I'm not, There's I'm no not... Chiefest Chimps. <laughs> 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 There's no Chiefest Chimps. Sorry, <laughs> is that next week? Is well, next I don't week? know. <laughs> Although, uh, let's do, just do a quick, quick Chiefest yeah. Chimps. Okay. So, chimpanzee that, cheap as chimps. Do you know how much a chimp is, Steve, to Not buy? Really, no. 55 grand. Okay, <laughs> okay, the competition is this. Um, <laughs> we've got five tickets, uh, no, five pairs, got five of pairs of tickets, tickets yeah, to yeah. give away, um, to the new Spike Lee film, 25th Hour. And, um, I've seen this and it's really great. It's got Ed Norton, um, in it and, uh, Philip Seymour Hoffman. Uh, really, really, really good. Um, it's an 18 certificate, so you can only, um, call up and get into this free if you are over 18. Or... Unless you look 18. Yeah, let's face it, it's <laughs> yeah, you look Exactly. Yeah. I don't think they're gonna ask for ID on the door. Yeah, yeah. But if you look like 14, then there's no chance. And yeah. you probably get some fags and beer as well yeah, on the way exactly. in, yeah. But if you're 16, um, 17, you, you look old enough, you've got yeah. a bit of facial hair, go for it. Yeah. Or wear a long beard. Yeah, whatever, yeah. No, we're not gonna condone that. Please be 18 <laughs> years or over. Yeah. It is an illegal offence. <laughs> exactly. Um, call 08700. 800 1234, and as it is uh, such a, a great film, we, uh, the competition is this. Um, do you want to go to this? A, yes. B, no. <laughs> so, <laughs> C, I'm not sure I can make it Wednesday. Any chance Thursday? D, I, I think I'll wait for it to come out on video, you know. <laughs> e, um, I don't really like Spike Lee. I'm a racist. <laughs> <laughs> call in, call in. So, so we should, hang on, we should just point out that, um, it, yeah, it's Wednesday at six o'clock. Did we make that clear? Yeah, yeah. Wednesday, Wednesday at six, six o'clock. Yeah. A, yes. B, no. C, Wednesday's no good for me. D, I'll wait for it to come video. E, I don't like Spike Lee. I'm a racist. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what is it? 08, 700, 800, 1234? That's the number, yeah. Okay, yeah. bother Claire with that. Oh, the answer's A, by the way. Correct yeah. answer. <laughs> yeah. nice if one. you want to go, that is. Yeah. Yeah. But tell the truth. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, I'd love to have some more music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. sweet, sweet, sweet. Well, I feel some Smiths. Oh, oh yeah. Reel around the fountain. Good choice. Smiths, reel around the fountain. XFM 104.9. Well, we've given those away then. Yeah, it went very well. Have, have, you, do, have you got enough now? You don't need yeah, more. Yeah, yeah, enough them all. Yeah, uh, everyone said uh, the correct answer. Oh, a, good. They would love to go. One, one person actually who was it. It was uh, Tom said C, but his, his sister Sarah would love to go. So oh, well, I, good luck to Sarah. Yeah, I hope yeah, he's over eighteen. Yeah. 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 Yeah, because uh, otherwise that is mm. illegal. Here's to the rules. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> I don't know why. I'm, in a che I'm just in a mood for toasting things. Yeah. I just, I think it's because it's, it's Easter. Yeah, yeah. And we know God what that means, him. don't we? God bless him. Eggs. Go on. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, what we, chat we were chatting about the Innovations Catalogue, and, um, it just, because I've just been flipping here through the, uh, the TV magazine, which comes free with the, uh, with the, new, the sun, and, um... Is there a thing on the back? A plate? Or a, all, I mean, a figure? The white trash that must buy this rubbish. I, I mean, know. this one, I don't know how you describe that there. Oh! Classy, isn't it? Oh, oh It's dear. a porcelain doll of a, uh, of a looks, young woman. Looks like Ginger Spice with her hair up in a blue dress. Yeah, it is strictly limited to 9,500. <laughs> <laughs> oh, am I gonna get one? <laughs> well, uh, why, says, why um, did you we waste time with this show? Shouldn't I have been calling? Well, look, it says, it says... How she, much is it? Well... She can be yours for the special half price offer of just ninety four pounds fifty. Is, is that all really? You're not winding me up, are you, Steve? <laughs> You're not winding me up. Is because if I look at it, it's nine hundred and forty? Because I think it should be. <laughs> uh, I will go mental because uh, well, I, I would love that porcelain piece of shit for a hundred <laughs> quid on my shelf. Hang on a minute, Rick. Let me just read you some of the writing. Who buys that? Do they think it's uh, art. It's classy. Oh. Well, hang on, let, I think this blurb will change your mind. Go on then, okay. Well, I, I'm just, okay, okay. Her name is quite simply Dearest Rose. I love oh. it. And she's portrayed here holding a beautiful- well, I mean, of course it's gonna be Dearest Rose, isn't it? Let it's, me read it, it's because not I gonna think... be Her name is Bert. <laughs> <laughs> Dearest Rose is portrayed here holding a beautiful bouquet of roses given to her by her lover. <laughs> 
she has gently plucked some of them and placed them in her chestnut hair. Oh, she's yeah. wearing a gown. Oh, that's filthy. <laughs> she oh, that's she is as well. She's stuffing them up. on her head. Oh, all right, go on. She's wearing a gown of beautiful turquoise silk. Her mm. skirt flows to the floor, and from beneath it, you can see her dainty shoe just peeping out, <laughs> get <laughs> decorated with a tiny handmade rose. That is brilliant. Um, Ninety-four. And it is beautiful, and, it's a, and you can you can pay nine pounds forty-five a month for ten months. Yeah, and that can be yours. And I think you'll agree, it is just beautiful. I mean, the the best one I've ever seen. There was one that there was a uh, um, a, a doll. Right, like a real doll, you know, a horrible, scary doll, mm. and it was something like, you know, a hundred pounds, and it said, "Call your family and tell them it's a girl." <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, I just imagine this forty-five-year-old woman with oh, bunches really and yeah. and rouge on her hair, still dressed in her ballerina outfit, going, "I've had a baby, mother." <laughs> You have not I have! It's a bloody baby! <laughs> why do you hate me? It's a doll! Do you, why do you hate me? <laughs> I mean, I know. what sort of people are they preying on? Well, there's I've one. just had a, a, a baby. <laughs> Sorry? <laughs> call, call the doctor. Call the doctor. D don't call the doctor! I've had a bloody baby! <laughs> <laughs> well, I, uh, I remember seeing one which just was extraordinary. I mean, again, I'm thinking specifically of the people that buy it. It was about three foot tall. Yeah. It was, I think, again, made of porcelain or possibly Flag. plastic. <laughs> it was a baby. It was like a sort of, it was like a kind of one-year-old baby, like that was the design, wearing a Harley Davidson biker outfit. <laughs> 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 the mean, leather cap, the jacket, oh. the nappy. <laughs> the <na> <laughs> <laughs> well, like Marlon nappy. Brando yeah. did in the wild bunch. Unbelievable. Oh, dear. Apps, I mean, the scum. I saw recently, we was looking, flipping through one, it was wedding rings. It was a selection of exclusive wedding rings. Um, imagine giving this, imagine getting down on one knee and giving your beloved a themed Lord of the Ring, <laughs> Lord of the Ring wedding ring. <laughs> oh, uh. that is brilliant. Will you be my wo wife? <laughs> uh, better still, my troll. <laughs> oh, dear. That I mean, I, I, the scum that must be, that they're, they're preying on, like you say. I mean, unbelievable. It's those sort of houses that I, I remember, um, uh, going into as a child sometimes, when you met a friend from school, <coughs> and, uh, you'd go into their house, and it was like a shrine. I remember some people kept the polythene on their three-piece suite. Yeah. There was someone you weren't allowed in the front room. Like, we couldn't, you know, couldn't go in the front room. And it's sort of, you look around and there's all these dolls and that, and it's just like, oh, God, scary, what? in God's name happens in this house <laughs> after dark. Oh. You know what I mean? But the it, people who keep the polythene on their, on their sofas, are, it's like, who are you waiting for? What, what day are you going to use this? Because I'll tell you this, the when, Queen's never coming I to know. two. Tony Blair's not going to pop in and out covered in grease. No, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> in dungarees. Exactly. I won't sit down. You can sit down. <laughs> yeah. You can sit down, Tony. I've been waiting for 40 years. Look, I've had a baby. It's not a real baby. <laughs> it is a baby! Is this door locked? <laughs> Why do you hate me? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Call your friends and tell them it's a girl. <laughs> <laughs> so if you're one of the, uh, the scum that have ever bought anything from, uh, one Trash. of those. Trash. Um, normally you'll get, um, uh, maybe commemorative plates. I know. Commemorate I'll tell you what, if I ever win the lottery, I'm gonna buy all them up. Yeah. I'm gonna <laughs> buy all them up in one foul swoop. Well, That'll be one amazing. I think it was Cliff Richard. It was a commemorative plate of Cliff Richard. It That'd said- be great. It said, Cliff never ages. <laughs> Cliff never ages, <laughs> and neither will this. Really? <laughs> 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 say that? <laughs> <laughs> tell your friends and mar tell me you've married Cliff Richard. Yeah. Look, I've married- it's a play. It's not a play! <laughs> I sleep with it! I've married Cliff Richard! <laughs> remember that mental case that was, um, thought she was married to, um, Mike Reed? No, I don't remember that. Oh. No, I do. Now, is this Mike yes. Reed the former DJ or Mike Reed the, uh, the entertainer stroke um, actor? Um, former DJ. Mm -hmm. And it had a shot of her just prancing round in the nude with a feather boa on, saying, I, I'm married to Mike Reed or something. Wow. She was obsessed with him. That's libelous. I mean, is she still looking for the fellow? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, what would you do? Well, uh, imagine it was you were in a love triangle between <laughs> her it's me. and Louise me. Woodward. Oh right, okay. It would you? Uh, and they were they were they were fighting over you. And uh, I, I think they can both get pretty violent. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, if, if, you know, fine. I mean, no, but I mean, I'm not. I, I well, don't know I'll tell you what I do. I do what any gentleman would do in that situation, and I'd let them wrestling it, wrestle it out, <laughs> nude, uh, in a hotel room. Um, we'll just, oh, we'll just see how they go. Let's have a record. Sorry to uh, call the lawyers and tell them it's a girl. <laughs> Coldplay, XFM, 104.9. In fact, can I just plug something? Go on. Because you can hear Coldplay live tonight from 7 o'clock, the whole Earl's Court gig on XFM from 7. Blimey. Yeah. It's not bad. 
Yeah. To Coldplay. <laughs> to Coldplay. Happy, <laughs> happy egg. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, that's about it from us, isn't it? We got, yeah. you know, I, you know, to be honest, I didn't miss Carl at all. I did miss Carl. I felt, I felt, I felt we we worked harder. We did a better show without him. I think yeah. he's dead wood. Well, I think that we should, yeah. you know, tell him that we. You know, we don't need him. If he turns up, it's fine. If not, you know what I mean? Yeah. Because that will wind him up. Oh, he'll be, be livid. If, you know, if you could send... Oh, c could you send Carly emails saying, um, to, to Ricky or someone, because he gets all those, doesn't he, or to yeah. Carl, saying, the show was better without Carl. Yeah. Can you please do that for us? We're telling the truth. He'll, he'll hear it. He'll come back and hear it. So we know it's a wind-up. But just, I just want to see his crushed little face Monday. <laughs> Is if you can send as many emails as possible saying this show was better without Carl, yeah. I will be grateful and I promise I'll tell him the truth next week. Do you think I can do that for us? I think so. Is it Carl dot Pilkerton at xfm dot go dot uk? Yeah, and it's ca Carl with a K. Yeah, yeah Carl with a K. and send some to me because he'll, he'll read those next week as well. Yeah, Ricky dot Gervais xfm dot go. Yeah, just say send some to me as well. And yeah, pass them and on, just yeah. pass them on. Yeah, and to the uh, to the head of xfm. Oh, yeah, what's his? Yeah. What's his one? <laughs> yeah. Because we won't get in trouble, because obviously Andrew's listening, so we know it's a joke. But Andrew.phillips at xfm.co.uk. In okay. fact, could you send oh, a load- Our marketing manager, Charlotte Susson at Yeah, Andrew.phillips yeah. at xfm.co.uk. Yeah. Just saying, um, yeah. it's so much better without Carl, because it's got a bit self-indulgent, he just does his same old stuff about Auntie Nora farting, and it's just, it's not big and it's not clever, <laughs> and, the, and the man's a fool. Yeah. So if you do yeah. something like that, you know, make stuff up as well. Um, thanks very much. Happy <laughs> egg. <laughs> Happy egg indeed. Can I just uh, end with a tune? Yeah. Uh, Ed Harcourt. I don't know if you've uh, listened to his current album. Yeah, new but there's some, uh, good. some nice treats on there. And this is one called The Birds Will Sing For Us. It's a nice way to end. See uh, you later. Cheers. Happy Easter. Do the email thing. Egg. Oh, okay. Um. Uh, come back, Carl. <laughs> That's all I have to say, really. Because uh, that was like, okay, fine, yeah. I mean, they have their moments, obviously. I mean, it's Ricky and Steve. They have their moments, but... Uh, no flavor. You know, it's like I, it's just like a couple of DJs talking. I don't know. That's how it felt. Uh, I can... You can tell this is the period when, when those um, contest shows and those reality TV shows started like coming in <laughs> you know this is the, around that time it's like they just the, the, all the american idol and the celebrities and the, and the whatever and the big brother and all these you can tell this is the time when it's like it was very popular because there's like a new type of show for people to watch you know uh but yeah um we still need carl you know, they don't miss Carl. I know they miss Carl, of course, you know, but it's like, they're trying to just wind him up a little bit, but it's like, I cannot explain it. I've, I've, how many episodes has this been now? It's like, it's been many, many episodes. I can't explain why Carl changes the flavor of the show. I, I still don't know how to explain that, you know, but he just does it. He just adds the flavor. He makes it like nothing else, you know. Um, and that's it. <laughs> so yeah, there's no no feature, no no rockbusters, no Carl, no movies, no uh, songs of phrase, no cheap. There was a cheapest chips kind of. Uh, no monkey news. No. <clears throat> oh my God. So much stuff. Wow. You know, it, you know, it's good for him that he was taking these these breaks because this is the ultimate proof that they needed him for for that show. Because he leaves and nothing, nothing really special happens. You know, it's just like yeah. So I hope he's back in the next one. You know, um, yeah, that's it. I just hope he's back, and that's it for now.